Namaste. Welcome to Chaos to Calm. My name is Megan Campbell and I'll be guiding you through this practice today, our summer sadhana. So placing the left hand on the heart, right hand on the belly, close the eyes and start to lengthen and deepen your breath. Breathing into the hand on the belly and then the hand on the heart. So in the summer months, we start to work with our small intestine and heart as the organs of summer, of fire. The small intestine responsible for our digestion, the absorption of water and nutrients, as well as our function of elimination. The heart meridian governing over our speech, our adrenals, our thyroid, pituitary gland, our blood, as well as the small intestine. Both meridians start in the hands and run up the arms, front and back. So as you open your eyes, we'll be working with these energy lines throughout the practice. So extending the left leg out, you can rest a block under the knee if you'd like. And taking the right arm up, let your right knee fall over and tip over to the left. And you can place your elbow on a block if you'd like. You can bring it to the inside of the leg, but just really let yourself hang out, spinning the belly and the chest up towards the sky. You might even look up or maybe down, whatever feels best for your neck. And my per personal favorite, resting my head in my hands. This is a yin-yang fusion, so some of the poses are held a little bit longer. Just looking for a stretch here through the side waist, maybe up into the bicep, down the tricep. Letting the fingertips drip. to the right, and just settle into the side, getting comfortable, spin the belly and the chest up, look where you need to, and maybe rest your head and your bottom hand again. Let the top arm relax, your face soften. Summer season is associated to the fire element, brings blossoming and maturing, the flowering of all the seeds that we planted in the spring. Love is the blossoming of the human being. It's really who we are when we're in full bloom. Use the top 
top arm to pull up, bring it down beside you, turn your right toes down and then lift the hips, stretch to the sides of the waist or if your back is healthy, maybe lean back and open the chest and then softly place the hips down, draw in the left knee and then turn onto your hands and knees so you're in table pose. You can also do this on the forearms if you need to, sliding the left arm over to the right. Take your right arm up to the sky or maybe back behind you, looking for your left inner thigh. And energetically pull the shoulder blades together behind you and start to take some deep breaths into the upper back, the front chest. Both meridians for small intestine and organ run through the heart center into the diaphragm. And bringing the right hand to the earth, crawl back up onto the left hand and then reach it up if you can. And then gently spin the right foot out to the side so you're on the shin, extend the left leg heel down so you're in a modified side plank, pressing down into the bottom hand, reach up through your top hand. Bring the left hand and the left knee down and then slide the right arm over to the left. Let the head rest on the earth or a block. And then take the left arm up or maybe back behind you looking for the right inner thigh. And we don't feel love anywhere more deeply than we do in the heart. Associated with warmth, laughter, enthusiasm and love. These are what we experience when the blood and energy is flowing freely into these spaces and places. So then taking the right arm up, turn the left toes parallel to the top of your mat, extend the right leg straight, turning the right toes down, and then start to reach up through your right hand really fully and powerfully. Maybe looking up. And then slowly taking the right hand down to the earth and then the right knee back into table pose and sliding the left foot forward between your hands so you're in a low lunge, lift up onto the fingertips, lengthen through your low back, pulling the heart forward. If your low back is healthy, crawl up onto your left thigh and then take your hands behind you in reverse prayer and you can do this fingers pointing up, fingers pointing down or taking opposite elbows. Letting the hips soften without collapsing into your low back so the low belly is lifting. Draw the elbows and the shoulders back, intending the heart up. Set the gaze forward softly on an unmoving point. And when our small intestine energy is running freely, flowing, we can experience healthy expressions of love and joy and warmth and vitality and excitement. We have clarity in our thoughts and we can make decisions based on our intuition and our gut instincts. And keep breathing into and from the heart. And taking the block if you need to by the left hip, lift your right arm up and tip your body over to the left again. 
You can also just leave your hand on the hip or bring it all the way down onto the ground if that's available. Belly and chest stay open to the sky. And breathing into the right side waist. down, slide your left leg back, round the spine like a rainbow, relaxing the head, bowing the head to the heart, the frontal lobe, breathing into the space between your shoulder blades. The small intestine meridian runs into the back of the shoulder blades. That's a great simple stretch. Bringing the right foot forward. You can leave your fingertips down, of course, if you need to. Or crawling back up slowly again. And taking your hands into reverse prayer. If you grabbed your elbows last time, make sure the opposite forearm is in front this time. When our heart meridian energy is flowing freely, we have a sense of tranquility with us at all times. We can get centered and grounded in peace. We feel emotionally balanced. We have integrity and optimism. Discernment is at its peak. have inspiration and creativity, not only in life, but for our spiritual growth, knowing what will help us progress along the path. And the block will come by your right hip if you used it last time, lift the left arm up and then exhale. Slowly tip your body over to the right. Hand can stay on the hip or come down to the ground as well. Just looking where it's most comfortable. Breathing into the left side gills. back into the heels, coming into plank pose. You're more than welcome, of course, to bring your knees back and down, but just charging up the energy into our arms here. And taking your heels to the right, windshield wiper the feet, left arm up, and of course, like before, your right knee can be down on the ground. Welcome to stay here. Bend the top knee and place the foot behind your right knee. Extend that top arm towards the top of your mat. And if your back is healthy, maybe flip over, lifting the pelvis to the sky and opening the heart. And then slowly bring the left hand down, left foot to the ground into plank. Taking the heels to the left, right arm reaches up, modified plank if you need, of course. And bending into the right knee, step it behind your left leg, stretch through the side of your waist. And if the back is healthy, maybe arc back, opening through the heart, powering up through the arms, the meridians in the hands. 
And then slowly bringing the left hand down, right foot to the ground, knees come down and lower onto the belly. Be mindful here as you bend the arms, excuse me, extend the arms out to the side, put the forehead on the earth. Slide your right hand under your right shoulder and roll your body all the way over to the left and you can rest your head on a block. You can use the right fingertips to press down into the ground. Even bend the top knee, bringing it down, letting the knee fall open. This is a very deep twist, so be mindful. The left palm is still down and the arm is in line with your shoulder. In the summer, it's super easy for us to burn the candle at both ends with all of our social commitments. Rolling back onto the belly, extend the right arm out. Slide the left hand in and roll your body over to the right. All the same options apply. So doing what you need to do here to get comfortable. Head is relaxing on the ground or a block. So this practice, keeping the fire burning, but really focusing on shifting to replenishing and nourishing and inspiring the flow of energy so that we can release any that is stuck or trapped or sluggish. And coming back onto the belly. And then bend into the knees, take your hands back and grab the inside or outside of your feet, whatever you can reach. If not, just interlace the fingers behind you or take your elbows and forearms again. Press the pubic bone down, lengthen the back of the neck and as you inhale, press your feet into your hands and reach your toes up to the sky. And then rock on the belly a little bit to massage and strengthen into the diaphragm where these meridians meet. Just a little bit or maybe a lot, depending on what feels best in your body here. Stoking the fire, super energizing pose, down your asin. Make sure you're breathing fully and deeply. Exhale to release. Bringing the hands under the shoulders, inhale up onto the hands and knees. And as you exhale, find child's pose, forehead on the earth or a block. Slide the hands forward, lift onto the fingertips and energize the arms. chest and take your body all the way over to the right stretch out through your left arm a little bit more and then use your right hand to press your hips over to the left so left arm forward hips to the left bow the head towards the earth Walk your body all the way over to the left, reaching out through the right arm, pressing into the left hand to move your hips over to the right, relaxing through the brain, head in the, is nice and heavy. So by enhancing the flow of energy into these organs and meridians, we can avoid, avoid burnout and really enjoy all the season has to offer and move into the next. And coming back, fingertips on the ground, forehead melting down. And let your palms rest and your elbows relax. As you come up onto the hands and knees, slide the knees forward, move your feet to the side, sitting down, take your blocks, or books, or even a bolster or pillows behind you for supported fish. And dropping the bra line down onto the block and your head onto another 
book or block or bolster. For today, just stretch the legs straight, turn your palms open to the sky. You can come into that knock knee position again if your lower back is tender. Try to bring your arms in line with your shoulders so you can feel the opening happening through the arms, the biceps, the chest. And close your eyes, allow your body to rest. If it feels calm, you can stretch your arms back behind you, but we don't want to cut the blood flow off. So if there's any tingling, personally, I like to keep my arms by my sides in line with the shoulders. So my hope is that this practice will support you in lighting your creative fire, leaves you feeling inspired and replenished in your energy. It just balances all that outward expression with a little inward attention. Breathe into and from the heart here. Feel the belly expanding and contracting. to the back of the head and chin to the chest. Help yourself up to seated. If you'd like to pause it and stay there for longer, that you're more than welcome. As you're ready, bring the hands into Anjali Mudra and Sukhasana, easy seated pose. Close your eyes. Press the left hand into the right and the right hand into the left. Just balancing the solar and lunar currents, maybe feeling them running through the hands. In a moment of gratitude, bringing the thumbs to the forehead. Namaste. Thanks for joining me today. Blessings for your summer.